Hello everyone, today we're doing a review of the Millennium Falcon from 2019. This set has 1,351 pieces, rated 9 and up, set number 75257, with 6 minifigures and BD. Oh, sorry, I thought it was BD1 for a second, but it is not. And it has R2, Bulio, Finn, C3PO, Chewie, and Lando, which we'll all look into soon. I'm reviewing this set today because in the new Ahsoka show, I will be comparing this to the Ghost when I get it. And this set came out for $160. First up, we have Lando, and Lando has the cape, and which is basically a Doctor Strange cape, but it's dual molded to have the black on the back as well. He has some back printing and a secondary face, which we'll take a look at now. And there it is. It's a smirk expression like that. Next up, we have Finn, and Finn comes with a satchel and a blaster rifle. This is probably the best minifigure of Finn we've ever gotten, and this one is not... I don't care about these sequel characters that much, except for this one right here, Bulio. And Bulio is a very beautiful alien species of a character. It has a nice jumpsuit, nice printing. Probably going to be worth a decent amount of money because it is a very exclusive and very cool mold for the head. Next, we have Dio. And this Dio is very simple. It came out in all the other sets from the Rise of Skywalker. And it's very simple, and it's smaller than BB-8, which doesn't come in the set. But what does come in the set is R2. This is old one. No back printing. And same goes with C-3PO. It's the old one. No arm printing or leg printing at all. We'll set the printing. And then we have Chewie, which is, again, the same old Chewie we've gotten. Let's take a look at the build. Okay, here we have the Millennium Falcon. And this build is very large. And the first thing you can see is if you're an older fan of LEGO Star Wars, you know that they only have tons of panels with tons of gaps all around it. Again, sorry for the dust. It's a bit of an older model. And I don't have anything in dust. But there's much less panels, and there's a lot less gapage, and it looks a lot better from the top view compared to the older models. And it was such a simple fix, I'm surprised they didn't do it sooner, but you can see there's a little bit of gap in right here, especially if we bring it down. Um, I did add a few extra pieces, which we'll get into right now, so if we pull this up, I added these two pieces, and these I was done on the bottom because that is a very large gap to me and I wanted that filled. So all I did, of course, was add the two pieces to, again, also stabilize it, which looks a lot better in my opinion. And yes, you can pull that down. You can also pull these two panels up, which is, again, a stupid easy design, which I'm surprised they haven't done before because of how easy this is. And then this set has the most open interior in any Lego set for this price range ever. Um, the full thing, 360 degrees all the way around it. And there's even space in here where you can place too many figures, which again, I altered because before they were back to back. There we go, we have Han Solo and Bulio. Han Solo does not come in the set, but I just wanted to include him in there. Bulio does not fit very well, but he does get stuck in there. And I'm going to try to pull him out, which I'll let you know. And I wasn't able to do, which I'll show you right now why is the problem. So that's probably because it broke a hole in the shed. But uh, what I was trying to do there is being able to pick it up and place the two minifigures in there and close it back up for the turrets on either side. Next, we can take a look at the kitchen. There's some slight details and then nothing crazy. Then there's a little storage where you can place a minifigure, so that's done for now. I don't know how well things are going to work. Well, no. We're doing 3 po if that's not happening. You can place the 3 po in there and shut him in. He's supposed to shut in all the way. For some reason, I cannot get him to shut in all the way, which is a little bit. Oh, there we go. Shut in all the way. Then we have the two beds, and if we open this up, we have the three seats for the game, which looks really good. And we have little control panels in there. And then this one, which again is hooked onto a different uh, connection piece. And then we have the cockpit, which can sit three minifigures, which three minifigures are Dio, Han, and Chewie. I just put Han in there because that's a minifigure I had out. Dio is kind of a random inclusion to have in here. Personally, never going to put him in there. We're just going to have Han and Chewie in there for now. I have the older Han because I don't have any of the newer Hans. But yeah, we'll just put them in there and we'll close them back up. And that is almost everything. Here's one more play feature of this set that I haven't mentioned. There's technically two. First, there's spring those shoes here. You push your hands in there. And there's also a boarding ramp, which you can access from the inside. And you can fold out like this. There's also one on two on the ghost, which we will compare to once I get the ghost. And it's a cute little boarding ramp that looks extremely similar to the one in the, um, the actual model. But it does look very good and is very simple, but you cannot access it, which is no problem. For $160, probably $170 now. Um, you could probably easily get this on sale for $150, $140. This is a must-buy, especially if you don't have a previous Falcon, especially with the new panels as well. And just getting extra minifigures from the original trilogy. 
Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you all again soon and goodbye.